If you are a DeFi or DGN trader, have you ever tried to buy a coin? Let's say the coin is $100,000 market cap and before you press buy, this coin has gone to $150,000 market cap within seconds. Well, I have a secret that can help you and that is the Maestro Sniper Bot. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what is Maestro Sniper Bot and how you can set it up from beginning to the end. So this video is going to be a practical video because I'm going to deposit money in my wallet and I'm going to try to buy and sell coins with it so you can see that this Maestro Sniper Bot actually works perfectly. Before we get to it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get to it. What is Maestro Sniper Bot? Maestro Sniper Bot is a bot that allows you to buy, sell or monitor a particular coin in decentralized exchanges. Without further ado, let me show you how to set up the Maestro Sniper bot. Alright, so the first step is to install Telegram. This bot is actually built on Telegram. So once you do that, then you can join me right away. Click on this search bar at the top here and then search for Maestro Sniper bot. You can see it right here. I'll click on it and then it takes me here. First, I'm going to click on Start. This is the official Maestro board deployed by Maestro boards. The next thing is to click on Sniper. So I'll click on it. Now it's telling me bot is in beta testing. To assess the Sniper bots, you must be a member of this first group. You also be a member of the second group. So you join all of the group. Then once you're done with that, you can proceed. So let me click, I'll, I'll quickly join all of the groups right now. I'll click on the first one and I'll click on join. I'll come back. I'll click on the second one and I'll click on join. I also click on tab to verify. So it's telling me to verify. I'm going to click on verify. Are you human? Yeah, I'm human, tap here. So it's telling me verified. So join group, I'll click on join and I've joined the group. The third one is be a member of Mr. Bot Hub. I'm going to click on it and click on join. Then I'm going to, I'm going to come back and click on sniper. So it's telling me you have you have been authorized. So the next thing to click is on wallet. Once I click on it, you can see BSC, ETH, ARB, BSROG, and ESROG. This actually allows you to either connect your Binance Smart Chain wallet, Ethereum wallet, or Arbitrum wallet, or you can create um, any of them from here. So I'll show you how to do that right away. Let's say the coin you're trying to buy is on Binance Smart Chain. So you just click on Binance Smart Chain and it's either you connect your wallet, but I don't like, I don't recommend you connect your wallet. I prefer you generate um, a wallet from here. So I'll click on generate wallet. And right now, it has generated this wallet for me. So you can see the wallet. All I just have to do is go ahead. I can copy the seed phrase. You can see it right here. Or I can copy the um, private key, which is right here. Don't worry. After this video, I'm going to delete this account. So right now, I've got to my wallet address. All I have to do is, uh, let's say I'll copy my private key and I'll go to Trust Wallet. Once I go to Trust Wallet, then I'll, I'm going to click on Settings. I'll, I'll click on um, Wallet and I'll click on this Add button at the top here. And I'll click on I already have a wallet. So which wallet do I want to um, create? I want to create a Binance Smart Chain wallet. So I'll scroll down and look for it. So you can see it's BNB Smart Chain. I'm going to click on it. Then I want to import a private key. If you are using seed phrase, this is it. You copy it and then come here and paste it. But if you are using private key, you copy private key, then click on private key and then you paste it. You can see that right now I've imported this wallet. So all I just have to do is fund my wallet. I'll just copy my wallet address. And once I, once I copy it, I can now go to, let's say, Binance, KuCoin, or any of those exchanges, then I'm going to send BNB to this wallet so I can use this wallet to automatically trade with Maestro Bot. So let me go back to Maestro Bot right now. All right, so once I'm done with that, the next thing to do is click on Config. Once I click on it, this settings actually helps me. First, I'm going to click on Anti-Rog. If the coin is going to be a rug, it's not going to buy the coin for me. It will automatically reject it. Then I'm also going to click on Smart Slippage. Now I can set up the max gas price and slippage, but if you want, um, basically I just leave it at smart, but you can click on it and set um, a slippage you want. So for, um, I can just say um, 29 or 20, 20% 20 slippage and it has automatically set for me. 
So now I'm done with this first step. The next thing to do is click on buy. As I've clicked on buy, I have an option to click on auto buy. Now when I get here, these options right here at the left side of my screen actually um, helps me to execute my trade easily. First at the top here you have auto buy. So if you set it at auto buy, whenever I paste the contract address, it's going to automatically buy the coin for you. You can do that by clicking on it and it, you've automatically set an auto buy. But for me, I don't like setting an auto buy. So I'm going to click on it and cancel it. So I don't like it because um, I actually want to see details of the coin before I buy the coin, not just this um, the bot going straight to buy the coin for me. So the next thing is max MC, which is market cap. When I click on it, so you can set the highest market cap you want to buy. So let's say um, we don't want to exceed um, $100,000 market cap. Then you click on it, then it has automatically set it for you. Then minimum liquidity. So what is the minimum liquidity um, for a coin? Um, if you want to buy, if it's below that, it's not going to buy that coin for you. So let's say ten thousand um, dollars liquidity and max liquidity. I I like to leave it at max. I like I don't like putting a figure to it, but if you like, you can actually put a figure to it. For me, um, I'm going to take it off by clicking on this X right here, so it's cancelled. Um, minimum market cap slash liquidity. I don't set that. I just leave that. Then. Uh, maximum buy tax so when i click on it i can set the tax so i don't want the tax to exceed five percent so it has automatically set it up for me and the sell tax i don't want it to exceed five percent too so whenever a buyer and sell tax is more than five percent this bot is not going to buy this coin for me so this is how to set my buy and we have the gas price but you can leave that so once we are done with the buy section now let's go over to the sell section so i'll click on return once I've done that, so I'll click on sell right now. And now I can set it on auto sell or anything, but I'm not going to put it on auto sell. So I can click on sell high. So sell high sets a take profit for you. It means that the, the bot will automatically sell your token if the price rises to a certain percentage above your buying price. So let's say I want this bot to sell this coin for me if I do 200%. I'll click on send. And it has already automatically set for me so right now then let's go and set up sell low so sell low is if this coin is at loss um at what point should this sell for you what is like your stop loss so let's see if a coin is on minus 50 percent please sell all of the coins for me and give me the balance i'll click on it and it has automatically set up for me i, I also have the gas price so right now i'm done with my sell settings so you can you can actually do your own um, do your own research and put in settings that actually works for you. But um, basically, this is what I use. So you can do that. You can configure this to your own taste. All right. So once I'm done with that, now I'm going to click on return. I'm actually done with um, my Maestro Sniper Bot settings. Now let me go ahead to show you how to buy a coin. Let me go to Dex Screener and look for a contract address. When I copy it, I'll come back and show you. So this is Dex Screener. And let me just look for any coin that is under Binance Smart Chain. So you can see this first coin at the top here. Let me just click on it. I don't know the coin, but let's just test it out. And I'm going to copy this, the contract address. Now I'm going to go back to Mr. Sniper Bot and I'll paste the contract address right now. So immediately I pasted it, you can see all of the information it brought for me. Um, the coin is EO Capo. Um, Binance Smart Chain. This is the liquidity pool and this is the contract, this is the contract address that C um you can see the um tax fees and liquidity um the bond liquidity is about 2.3 thousand bnb which is very high and the market uh, max buy is 100 percent max sell so market cap is about 18 million 18.4 million dollars and there's no buy and sell tax you can see that right away now as i pasted this contract address it didn't automatically buy this coin for me why because I didn't set up auto buy. So right now I cannot put in the amount I want to use to buy this coin. So that's why I don't like setting up auto buy. So I can say, okay, I want to buy this coin with 0.01 BNB or 0.05 BNB or any of these options right there. But if I don't find any of the options, I can now click on buy X BNB. I'll click on it. And now I can put in the amount of BNB I want to use to buy. So let's say 0.22 BNB and then I'm going to click on it. 
Now you can see buy transaction feed during estimation were insufficient funds because I have not sent any BNB to that my trust wallet account. So you can go ahead and send BNB to that trust wallet account and it will automatically execute the transaction for you. So let me go ahead and send some money to that wallet right now. So we can actually use that to test this out. Alright, so I've actually sent um, 0.048 BNB, which is about $14.83. It was actually $15, but they've taken transaction fees. So now let me go back to my Mistro bot. And let me let me paste this um, contract address again. So now um, let's see how much do I want to use to buy this coin. So let's say I want to use um, 0.01 BNB. I'm, just, I'm going to click on it. You can see that the transaction was showing um, pending and then now it is approved automatically. It has bought this coin for me without even going to PancakeSwap or anywhere at all. I can click on transaction at the top here to see the transaction. So let me click on it, open. And you can see that um, the transaction was successful actually. Now let me go back. So right now, you can see that on this section, which is showing primary trade, you can see chap, uh, capo among minus 0.25% loss. I entered with um, 0.01 BNB and right now my, my worth is 0.00997 BNB. So, I'll, and you can see the, um, the price of the coin, the market cap is 18.6 million, the buy tax is 0% and all of that. So I'll just be here waiting for it. I'll be watching the trade from here. If it's going up, you're going to be seeing plus um, 50% or plus 20%. If it's going down, you're going to be seeing minus 0. Point or minus 10% or something. Um, let's say I can't wait for my um, sell transaction to execute. So I, I want to take profit. You can see I'm currently on plus 0.62%. And let, let me just show you how to sell right now. So I'll come down here. You can see different sell options. Sell 25%, sell 50%, sell 75%, sell 100%. You can see approve, you can see sell, you can see sell X. If I want to sell all of this coin right now, I just click on sell and it automatically sell for me. If I want to sell 25%, I'll just click on sell 25, 50%, just like that. It's going to, and even if I want to pick a particular percentage, which is not among here, I can click on sell X percent. Once I click on it, I will set up the percentage myself. So let me just go ahead and click on sell X percent first of all. And you can see I can put in the percentage I want. So let's say I want um 70 percent um, it will automatically sell that 70 percent for me but i want to sell everything so i'll just go ahead to click on sell and you can see when the transaction was pending and you can see success sell transaction succeeded you gained 0.0101 bnb so i enter with 0.01 i've made 0.01 bnb which is about 3.10 dollars again if i want to check the transaction to see it i can click on the transaction at the top here and click on open it automatically show me that this transaction has gone through so this is basically how to buy and sell a coin but let me try it again once more so you can see the effect on my trust wallet let me copy the contract address again i think it's copied and let me paste it one more time and click on buy so i want to buy with that 0.01 bnb again pending successful transaction is successful so let me copy i've copied that control address let me go to um trust wallet and paste it there i'll click on add tokens click on the plus sign and paste it so it has showed me the coin i'll click on save you can see my previous transactions already and now let me go and sell let me go back first of all you can see that my bnb has reduced now let me go back and click sell so you actually see it right away i'll click on sell and pending success so let me go back and check for myself and you can see i don't have any capo again i've actually sold everything and now um my bnb is actually back so this is how to set up the mistro sniper bot and this is how to actually trade with it so this is how to set up your mistro sniper bot and actually trade with it all of the settings are used in this video for Binance Smart Chain. You can actually use it for Ethereum and Arbitrum. It is the same step. 
So um, make sure to follow through the video and try it out. We've come to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. It is very, very important. That's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.